The finale of American Horror Story Apocalypse airs this week, so I thought I would do a final theory video. I rounded up a handful of theories surrounding the 10th and final episode of Apocalypse titled Apocalypse Then, and just a warning, this video may contain serious spoilers for the finale of American Horror Story Apocalypse, so if you want to go into the finale with no expectations and no theories and no possible spoilers, click away, this is not the video for you. But, without further ado, let's begin. This first theory I found on Reddit. I'm unaware of its origin, but it plays itself as the truth, so once again, spoiler alert if this random source is to be believed, but of course, there's no way of knowing if this source is legit or not. This is your final warning if you don't want spoilers. The theory says, Michael will try to pit the witches against each other so he could watch them die by their own hands. He's going to promise Madison a safe place by his side if she kills them. Dinah ends up in hell with, with Delphine, Papa Legba, and Marie Laveau. Constance will end up not killing herself thanks to Mallory. The final scene reveals that Michael is not the real Antichrist. The real one is hiding in plain sight. Okay, so if this really does happen in the finale, I'd be pretty pleased. I don't know. I love when television shows and movies just throw, like, twists and turns. And the twist that Michael really isn't the Antichrist would be... That'd be pretty shocking. I don't think anybody would see that coming because... We've known he's the Antichrist since season one, but that can also raise some problems with fans seeing that why would they tell us that he's the Antichrist since season one if he really isn't, but if they could explain it in a believable way, I think that might work out really well. I'm always down for the return of Angela Bassett, so hopefully Marie Laveau does appear in the finale. Madison turning against her witches, that would be very dramatic, and if you know me at all, I live for drama, so I can't say I'd hate that. If this theory turns out to be real, it's safe to say that this finale will divide fans. I believe I would be on the positive side of the fans, if this turns out to be real. I think this season has been filled with so many twists and turns and great episodes that the finale kind of has to bring in so much for it to feel like it resolves anything. So I think this would be a very good way to kind of wrap things up, but also leave everyone kind of shook. I'm the type of person that doesn't always love a happy ending, so if this season ends with Michael Langdon not being the real Antichrist and there is still a threat out there, I kind of am here for it. And this also hints towards the theory that this season will have two parts. And if you've been paying attention to my reviews for this season, I love this season a lot, and I've loved pretty much every episode, so I'm down for a part two of this season. But anyway, let's move on to the next theory. It says, I don't think they're going to kill Michael. I think they're going to stop Constance from killing herself. Reason number one, Michael had only killed two people when she was alive and killed animals as an act of love. Reason number two, the reason Michael went to the murder house was because she killed herself, which led him to start bonding with Ben and later on being shut away by Tate. Constance didn't let Michael in the house when he was there, and when he was there, he was further corrupted and his powers progressed. Reason number three, Constance was meant to raise monsters, and one of the main themes of Return to Murder House was family, and she said, I'm needed by my family. This could foreshadow Michael's need for Constance. Reason number four, if Constance didn't kill herself, me wouldn't have been there to take away Michael, and he wouldn't have put his trust into Satan worshippers, but instead Constance. And if he never met me, then he would have never met the Satanic worshippers, and then would never have met the cooperative, and never done the apocalypse. This theory is interesting, although I don't see them going this route, just because it's a little lackluster and unbelievable because if he really is the antichrist he's going to find a way to end the world that's kind of his goal but i do think this theory has some really good points that constant's death really pushed him forward into fulfilling his antichrist duties and going pure evil however if constance was still there we know she can't live forever i think whether or not constance lives or dies he would still go down the same route but that's just my opinion on this theory, but I do think it's an interesting one to think about. This last theory comes from Reddit and was written by A Good Leather Jacket. They say, from behind the scenes photos and teasers for episode 10, we know Misty must return to Robocho's academy at some point, so she probably finds all of the dead witches or whatever's left. It then looks like she might be involved in the remaining witches surviving the nuclear bombings after they spell Coco and Mallory and send them away. Cordelia, Myrtle, and Madison appear to claw themselves out of the ground near what seems to be the Fleetwood Shack, but she's clearly not with them when they reappear in the post-apocalypse timeline. However, it seems that Fiona and Marie Laveau are there at some point. 
What if the reason Fiona and Marie Laveau can return is because Misty makes a deal with Papa Legba and gives her own soul up? It was rumored that Misty would return this season only to suffer an even more tragic fate, and I think it would be fittingly heartbreaking for a character like her to give herself to Papa Legba and suffer if it means the others might survive. Her final act would be condemning herself to hell again to try and save everyone else from it. I really like this theory, although I don't know what behind-the-scenes photos they're talking about when it comes to proving that Misty will return for the finale. I've, I'm not sure she really will, although it would be a big plot hole if they just leave her. So I definitely think Misty should return in the finale, but there's no proof that I've seen that proves that she really is in the finale, but she probably will be. But anyway, I think it would be a very fitting and tragic end for Misty Day to sacrifice herself to save all of humanity, basically. The shot in the teaser for the finale has those three arms coming out of the ground, and I too thought it looked like the outskirts of Misty's shack that Cordelia and Madison and all them were hiding in in the last episode. I do think Misty will help Cordelia, Madison, and Myrtle survive the apocalypse, and I think this theory does a great job at explaining how this happens. If you don't know, Ryan Murphy posted a photo with Kathy Bates, Angela Bassett, and Jessica Lange, and he said they know what they need to do. He's basically hinting that these three actresses return for the finale of Apocalypse, most likely playing their coven characters as Fiona Good, Marie Laveau, and Delphine. Although the teaser does show Jessica Lange as Constance again, so it's unclear whether or not Jessica Lange will play Constance and Fiona, or just Constance. I definitely think this theory has some really solid foundation, and I can see this definitely playing out. I think that would be a great way to explain the, how these three witches survive the Apocalypse, and only them. If Papa Legba does release Fiona and Marie Laveau, I think that would make for an epic finale twist, just because those two characters are so iconic and powerful. I do hope a mixture of this theory and the first theory I showed you does happen in the finale, because that would make for a great finale in my opinion. Alright, so that's it for this little theory roundup video before the finale of American Horror Story Apocalypse. Just a reminder, don't get too attached to any of these theories because there's a very high chance that none of these will come true. Keep your expectations as if you haven't heard these theories. Just take what the writers are giving you with this finale. Don't get your hopes up for one of these theories and then it not happen and be disappointed. And I'm going to keep my mind open, even if none of this happens, they can still make it great. And if they don't, then you'll definitely hear about it in my review for the finale. So subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Also, if you haven't watched my last video, I reviewed episode 9 and went into some more finale theories. So if you want to hear those, make sure you watch my episode 9 review and 